with um with the, with Carlito Weaver. Um, listen, down to my event, down to my event. I thank mean, you. Talk about you. what's going on here today. Um, I mean, it must be a very proud moment for you. Oh, definitely. This is a, a great moment. You know, this is our fourth annual Henry Thevenin uh, Football Clinic. No struggle, no progress clinic. Um, it's just a culmination of things. You know, you got the past, the present, the future generation. Um, really bringing the community out here together just to celebrate the life of our, of our dear friend Henry. Um, you know, it, it's funny. You know, we talk about it a lot. You know, how how little things, how we remember the little things when we're younger. But um, this clinic was really inspired by Henry when he was younger. You know, he wasn't. He was a little bit too big to play football, so he couldn't necessarily play. You know, in the in the youth city leagues and things like that because he had a weight limit. And uh, you know, one of his dying wishes was like, you know, I, I feel like I didn't, just didn't play football long enough. You know, I wish there was something that I, I could have done at least for a day. You know, when I was younger, just so I could have more time with football. Right. And so we really took that had that moment and that idea and, and, and made it into a reality for some of these, you know, young men and women who, you know, may not have the opportunity to actually play football. You know, give them, give them a, a, a space where they can do that. Right, that, that's an awesome story. I didn't know that story. So I, that's kind of a cool story, you know. So I, I'm, I'm sure he'd be very proud looking at this right now. He'd be proud of you, proud of your friends, proud of the whole team. Um, so you know, this talk about going forward. I mean, this is the fourth annual. I mean, where, where do you want to see this clinic going in the next few years? I mean, you know, do you need help with, with donorship sponsors? Mm -hmm. You know, how can the community help you? Where, where do you see this? Mm -hmm. So definitely. So right now we're in the process. We're filing for our 501c3 to get our nonprofit status. Um, the name of our foundation is the No Struggle, No Progress Memorial Foundation. And uh, next year is going to be year five, the big five. So, you know, we're really, really planning. We want to do it really, really big. Um, the goal is, you know, I've been looking around and, you know, something as simple as having cleats. You know, right, right. something if you, you know, maybe if you register online and, you know, you, you, you're putting your size and you show up, you know, maybe we give you a free pair of cleats. You know, that's why it's really important that we get our nonprofit status because with that, you know, we can we can get seek funds from major corporations. Right. And so, you know, that's really where we're headed next in this direction and, you know, really evolve and, and, and take things to the next level. Well, listen, I'm proud of you and uh, the whole community is proud of you. So, you know, keep doing this. We're going to be here. Every, every year you do this, we'll be here. Thank you. I so, appreciate it. So, uh, you know, definitely good luck and uh we'll see you thank you appreciate it Nubi. thank All you right. for your time and everything that you do for the community as well you know it takes a village you know a lot of these parents you know they're coming out here they're standing outside you know they're watching the kids and they're like i've never seen my son or my daughter so happy so excited and so many young people you know in the city coming together to give back and it's really special because like you said it does take a village each one teach one so all right brother appreciate All right. you man good luck